Hello again, I am Blondie. A little over a week ago, the long-awaited and anticipated Bedrock version of Minecraft finally hit the Nintendo Switch, supplanting the Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition that we've been playing for about a year and a half now, with what's known simply as Minecraft. No edition subtitle required. It is a completely separate game install because it's a completely separate game code, running on what's called the Bedrock Engine, which is why we call it the Bedrock version. And the Bedrock Engine evolved out of what used to be the Pocket Edition. And this is the same code, the same game engine that runs Minecraft on Windows 10, on Xbox One, on Android, iOS, Gear VR, Amazon Fire TV, and now Nintendo Switch. And with all of these platforms running Minecraft on the same code base, they're all part of what Mojang referred to as the Better Together Update, meaning that players on any and all of these platforms can join each other's games, full and proper multi-platform cross-play, and indeed cross-buy. Any of your skins, maps, textures, mashup packs, and worlds that you buy from the Minecraft storefront carry across from one platform to the other, if you're like me and own Minecraft on more than one platform. And for me, this new update opens up an opportunity I've been very eagerly waiting for since we were first told that Bedrock was coming to the Nintendo Switch. See, I love having Minecraft on the Switch. It's one of those games that is really super nicely suited to the Switch's dual nature of console and handheld. I love it so much that I begrudgingly moved away from the Java edition with keyboard and mouse and accepted my life of playing it with console controls. Even though I have a very strong preference for mouse and keyboard for this and pretty much any and every other game played from a first-person perspective like this. And while the Nintendo Switch does support a keyboard for typing and game, useful for signs and such, it doesn't support it or a mouse for gameplay. But now I can have the best of both worlds. Now I can have my Minecraft world file live on my Nintendo Switch so I can play it handheld or docked at any time, and I can use a mouse and keyboard when I'm at my desk. I especially love it when I'm streaming our new survival world over on Twitch. And the trick to doing this is simply that I boot the game and load the world on my Nintendo Switch and log into it from my Windows 10 Minecraft install. But this can be a bit finicky. The first time I tried to get it to work it was a bit confusing and baffling really. And since then I've had to try and guide more than a few people in my Twitch chat through the process. Because they too were confused and frustrated by it. So I'm putting on my helpful blunty hat and making this little guide. There's nothing really complicated to do here, but there's an order of operations and a bit of digital voodoo stuff that seems to make it work nice and consistently for me. The first step is of course making sure the Switch and PC are on the same network. My Switch is connected to my router over Wi-Fi and my PC over Ethernet. Both Minecraft clients have to also be logged in to your Microsoft account. And yes, it works fine if both are logged into the exact same account. That's what I do. You do not need two different accounts for this to work. The next step is loading up the world on your host device. In my case, the Nintendo Switch. Here's the first gotcha. Do not try to hit that connect to local network option down there. As obvious as it seems, what this option actually does is disconnect your Microsoft account and set it up for local play only with other Nintendo Switch consoles. I'm sure that'll be handy for some of you, but that's not what we're trying to do here. And so here's the bit of digital voodoo I've fallen into the habit of doing. When I've not done this, I've found it will sometimes work, but more often than not, it will just not show up on my Windows 10 Minecraft client for some reason. Pop down to the world you intend to load up, but don't load it up from there. Hit that edit button, that little pencil icon. Tap down twice to the multiplayer tab and go ahead and flip off and on again the multiplayer toggle. I know, I know, it was already on. And I know this seems stupid and redundant and ridiculous and needless, but I'm telling you right now, it's the only way I've gotten this to reliably and consistently show up on the other client game on Windows 10. Now, I load up my Windows 10 version of Minecraft, or indeed whatever bedrock based platform I want to join my Switch world with. Hit play and click on the friends tab. Here is where you'll see any online friends in multiplayer worlds and realms. At the bottom of that list, you'll see LAN games. And this is where, hopefully, your Nintendo Switch world will be showing up. Click it and you'll be connected to the world being hosted on your Nintendo Switch. And that's it, that's job done. You're now in a multiplayer world where both players are actually the same account. Now, not only does this let me use a mouse and keyboard, but keep my Minecraft world able to go handheld at a moment's notice, but it gives me a second player I can use to AFK in a mob grinder or other farm to keep it ticking over while I do other stuff. Which is a really nice side bonus, don't you think? 
The other benefit of logging into a Switch world with Windows 10 is, while on the Switch, I only have access to texture packs and such from the built-in Minecraft store because, for security and anti-piracy reasons, console makers don't want to give end users access to the raw file system, so you can't just load in your own custom texture packs and whatnot. On the Windows 10 version, you can absolutely load in custom texture packs, custom player skins, you can even use shaders if you like. So when I'm streaming or just playing at my desk, I can use my personal favorite Fateful 32 texture pack, which is real nice. The only real catches are that with two players, both have to sleep in bed at night for it to skip to morning properly, which is a slight hassle. And it's a slight hassle I've skirted around by popping into creative mode, giving myself a command block, and giving it a simple command to skip time till dawn anytime I activate it by standing on a pressure plate that I've put next to my bed. But because I'm not actually sleeping, I'm just sort of skipping the time ahead till dawn, this will probably cause me some issues with the looming introduction of the new hostile mob called the Phantom, which will attack players who haven't slept in a few days. As I record this, they're not in the game, so for now it works fine, and the Phantoms are an undead mob, so they do burn up in daylight anyway, so it still should be okay when they arrive at a new update soon. The second little issue to be aware of is that each player character has its own separate inventory. So my Switch player doesn't have the tools and armor and inventory of my Windows 10 player character and vice versa. So I either have to have two sets of everything or I can remember to put my tools and armor away in a chest at the end of my play session and just pull them out and equip them again for the other player at the start of a new session on the other device. It is really a small price to pay for having the best of both worlds. Dual mode Minecraft, big screen and handheld, and mouse and keyboard control, and custom skins, and custom shaders, and custom textures. It's a little bit glorious, I think. Anyway, hope this has helped you out. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.